why you come back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was one, one conversation that uh, my wife says, we need to reevaluate things. Don't, don't even start this conversation. Well, I'm really proud of you. Let's right. reevaluate where you guys live. Did, you need to go take her up there in January, you know? 43 seconds. When the wind blows you sideways? I had a wrong week. Friday and Friday. I was a week, I was a week, I was next week already. Well, yeah, it's a marathon. I still need 745, but yeah, it's fine. Wow. So were you timing yourself so badly? Leave if you got to leave. Oh, absolutely. Do you have runner watch? Is that what you're doing? Just call somebody to Daisy Tabs. That's great. That is number 12. There's a 16. Good evening. We'd like to call the Durham City Council meeting to order Monday, March the 16th at 7.01 p.m. And I certainly want to welcome all of you that are with us this evening. If we could just take a moment for silent meditation, please. Thank you. I ask Councilman Brown if you would lead us in the pledge. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> uh, Madam Clerk, will you call the roll, please? Mayor Bell. Present. Mayor Pro Tem Cole McFadden. <laughs> Councilmember Brown. Here. Councilmember Katati. Here. Councilmember Moffitt. Here. <coughs> Councilmember Shul. Here. And Councilmember Davis is requesting an excused absence. So moved. Second. It's been properly moved and second. All in favor of the motion, indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the motion passes unanimously. Thank you. First, deals with Creek Week, and would ask Ms. Laura Webb Smith, the Public Education Coordinator for Public Works Department Stormwater GI Services, if she would join me. Proclamation speaks to the fact that whereas Durham is rich in natural resources and beauty, whereas water is a basic and essential need for all life. Whereas trash and pollution fouls our waterways as well as our landscapes and whereas every resident should contribute to keeping our environment clean and healthy by working together to preserve clean water and the natural beauty of our surroundings. Whereas Creek Week has been celebrated in Durham since 2009 with 1,446 volunteers collecting <coughs> over 101,210 pounds of trash to date. Whereas Creek Week provides opportunities for Durham residents to discover and explore local streams and lakes through educational programs, recreational activities, and to do their part to protect waterways through volunteer projects. Now, therefore, I, William V. Bill Bell, Mayor of the City of Durham, North Carolina, do hereby proclaim March the 21st through March the 28th, 2015, as Creek Week in Durham, and hereby urge all the citizens of Durham to observe this week in recognition of the value of clean and healthy waterways and to do their part to restore the beauty and functions of our lakes, streams, and landscapes by participating <coughs> in Creek Week volunteer cleanup events and educational activities. With my hand, Corporate Silver City of Durham, North Carolina. This is 16th of March, 2015. I'm going to present this to Laura and uh, she can introduce other persons that are with her. Thank you, Mayor Bell. I'd like to introduce Tanya Doutlick of Keep Durham Beautiful and Nathan Lee Williams of the Public Works Department. We have about 18 partners for Creek Week, and just a couple are here represented tonight, but it is a community-wide event. So thank you for issuing the Creek Week proclamation and for the opportunity to tell you about this great series of events. First, a little history. <coughs> Seven years ago, four people sat around a table brainstorming about what we could do about the trash barge where Ellerby Creek enters Falls Lake. We wanted to do more than just another cleanup. 
We wanted Durham residents to be aware of our water resources and their importance in providing drinking water sources, fish and wildlife habitat, and fun activities like hiking, swimming, fishing, and canoeing. We formed a partnership that today stands at 18 members strong. This year, Creek Week kicks off with a Connect with the Creek event at Durham Central Park, Saturday, March 21st from 2 to 5 p.m. Durhamites of all ages will enjoy parading with the Bull Town Strutters, going through a hydrilla maze, <coughs> and many more activities to help us learn about our creeks. To help us connect with the creeks through art, we have amazing contributions of hand-painted cisterns and murals by students at local schools. And it is Durham, so yes, we will have food trucks, <laughs> along with a place to compost your organic waste. The week continues with stream cleanups, educational programs, tours at our water and wastewater treatment plants, and nature walks. We encourage residents to get involved in learning about and protecting Durham's creeks, rivers, and lakes. The website durhamcreekweek.org has all the information you'll need to participate. On behalf of all of our Creek Week partners, we thank you, Mayor Bell, and members of the Durham City Council. since you stood over here so patiently. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next, we have our annual Crop Hunger Walk Day proclamation. I'm going to ask Bob Newland, treasurer of the Durham Crop Hunger Walk, if he would join us. Thank you. And I, I know all of us are familiar with uh, this event, but it speaks to the fact that whereas at the end of World War II, Many people wanted to share our country's abundance with Euro European war victims, and crops first pur purpose was to gather wheat and other crops from U.S. farms for shipment to Europe. And whereas today the Durham Crop Hunger Walk is an important part of community life, bringing together people of different faiths, diverse cultures, and all age groups, whereas in the last 41 years, Durham Crop Hunger Walks have raised over 3.82 million, help and hope to hunger people in in need around the world and in the U.S., whereas each year Durham Crop Hunger Walk helps local agencies such as Meals on Wheels, Urban Ministries, Housing for New Hope, Threshold Clubhouse, Food Bank of Central and Eastern North Carolina, St. Andrew's Society, and Church Food Pantries who provide food to neighbors in need, whereas the Durham Crop Hunger Walk raised $145,000 last year, enough to add double bucks to the list of recipient agencies Whereas the Durham Crop Hunger Walk is walk working to raise enough money <coughs> to be able to support two additional local agencies this year, whereas the Durham Hunger Crop Walk is the oldest fundraising walk in North Carolina and will hold its 41st annual Crop Hunger Walk on Sunday, March the 22nd, whereas the Durham Crop Hunger Walk helps the community to become aware of and concerned about hunger <coughs> and its causes, <coughs> whereas the Durham Hunger Crop Walk is the third largest walk in the nation out of more than 1,300 walks demonstrating tremendous compassion and altruism of Durham citizens, whereas Durham Crop Hunger Walk will raise funds to help stop hunger, both locally and globally. Now, therefore, I, William B. Bill Bell, Mayor of the City of Durham, North Carolina, do by proclaim March the 22nd, 2015, as Durham Crop Hunger Walk Day in Durham, and hereby urge all citizens to take special note of this observance with my hand in the corporate city of, the city of Durham, North Carolina. This is the 16th day of March, 2015. I know most of you know that it kicks off at Duke Chapel. And I assume this is the same. It's going to happen again this year, right? Chapel Hill, uh, the Duke Chapel at uh, 2.30 on Sunday. We'll step off uh, and uh, head out uh, past East Campus this year uh, because it's on World Water Day. We'll have a special water display. Uh, water is crucial to eliminating hunger uh, in the world. Good water available so that uh, people don't have to walk and collect it uh, and so there will be a lot of extra festivities and if all goes well and we earn a little bit more we will pass the one million dollar mark wow. in terms of the no amount that we have provided over the years to Durham things like urban ministries and, and our new one this year the snap double program at the at the farmers market and uh, we have here our t-shirt which has a drop of water for this year this is designed by an NCCU student uh, and uh, we have uh, sufficient uh, t-shirts for uh, everyone here. Is this mine? 
that if that's your size, that's yours. <laughs> if it's not your size, I have a box over here that has all the sizes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. One of the things I noted in the information I've gotten is that uh, while it steps off at 2.30, the event, the uh, people gather at 2 o'clock. Is that one too small for you? Huh? I ordered an extra different? large. Huh? Did you say that one's too small? Yeah, I think it is. I think you can have it. Okay. <laughs> I told Karen I wanted an extra large. Mm -hmm. I asked Soccer for a medium. Green. Thanks, Bill. Yep, that would be me. Yeah. Thank you. Small. Medium. Not, not small at all. <coughs> do you want me to pass them out now? One sure. Of, yes, make if sure you do, I get them out. Yeah. Extra large. <laughs> 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 Okay, while, while that's going on, let me ask, are there are any comments by members of the council? No, thank you. I, uh, well, Mayor Pro Tem. I would like to congratulate um, Councilman Shule for having completed a marathon yesterday yes. and qualified for the Boston Marathon. So. Awesome. All right. All right. <laughs> no crutches? Pardon? No crutches? No crutches, but uh, everything hurts. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's, That's great. I think you will live a long time. We'll see. Okay. Any, any other comments? <laughs> yes, fine. Thank you. Uh, let's the uh, city manager for his priority items. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Good evening, everyone. Uh, no priority items from the manager's office this evening. Thank you. Likewise, city attorney. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. No priority items. And likewise, city clerk. No items, Mr. Mayor. Okay, in that case, we'll proceed with the agenda. First item being the consent agenda, which can be approved with a single vote. Unless an item is pulled by the council member, someone in the public, and then we'll discuss that later in the meeting. Uh, the first item are, is number one on the Housing Appeals Board appointment. <coughs> Item two is confirmation of civilian police review board members. No. Okay, Item three is award of dedicated housing funds to Durham Community Land Trustees, Inc., DCLT, and Woodland Associates, Inc., Woodland, for the preservation of existing rental housing, Moorhead Glen Apartments, West Park Apartments, Mutual Manor, and Rockwood Cottages. Item four is annual property casualty insurance plan for 2015-2016. Item five is the Joint City County Economic Development Strategic Plan. Item six is the, I'm sorry, I should have pulled item two. <coughs> and item six is the renewal of police department software agreements with SunGuard Public Sector, Inc. Item 10 can be found on the general business agenda as a public hearing. Uh, in a, a, okay, 10 is gonna be pulled too. Uh, in a, Accept a motion for the consent agenda with the exception of consent agenda item two. Second. second. It's been properly moved and second. All in favor of the motion indicate by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, the motion passes unanimously. We move to the general business agenda public hearings. Item 10 is consolidated annexation for Briar Creek assemblage. Good evening, Mr. Mayor, members of council. Pat Young with the planning department. I can first certify for the record that all public hearing items before you tonight have been advertised in accordance with the provisions of law and their affidavits to that, on fact, <coughs> on file, to that effect on file with the planning department. Uh, what's before you tonight is a request by MI Homes uh, related to the requested annexation of approximately 115 acres of property in Durham and Wake County, south of Andrews Chapel Road, known as the Briar Creek Assemblage. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the first item is a utility extension agreement, which has been requested to serve the development with city and water, uh, city water and sewer utility services. Um, the public works and water management departments have performed utility impact analysis and determined that adequate capacity is available um, at this location. Secondly, a voluntary uh, petition for annexation has been submitted by the property owners for this site. Um, 
the Budget Management Services Department has performed a fiscal impact analysis with the assumption of uh, 132 homes, single-family homes, which is the maximum that would be allowed under the requested zoning. Uh, and this analysis projects that estimated revenues would exceed estimated expenditures <clears throat> in the fourth year after uh, annexation. Finally, the um, council would be required if the first two actions are adopted to apply an initial zoning to the site. Uh, <coughs> staff's recommending an application of the rural residential RR zoning district, uh, which, as I mentioned earlier, would allow up to 132 single-family homes. Uh, this is the least intense zoning permitted in the suburban development tier. Um, the applicant does intend at a, at a future date to upzone the property to a more intense development, but that's not under consideration today. This would just be the initial zoning, which would bring it into the city at the uh, lowest possible density RR. Uh, the Planning Commission recommended this <coughs> action at their September 9th meeting by a vote of 13 to 0. And staff recommends the council approve these items and uh, happy to take any questions. Thank you. You've heard the staff report. This is a public hearing. The public hearing is open. Let me first ask other questions or comments by our members of the council. Uh, if not, we have one person that is signed up to speak, Mr. Gerard Edens. Edens, is it anyone else that wants to speak on this item? This item being a public hearing. If not, uh, you have five minutes. Good evening. Uh, Jared Edens with Edens Land Corp. I'm just here in case there are questions. I'm here representing the developer. Are there questions by the representative of the developer? I, I have one question. Uh, do you have an idea, or can someone tell me about what will be the projected population uh, if this unit is completed? <coughs> uh, well, based on tonight, it, it's based on the 100 and 132. 132, units 132 units on the current zoning. We have a, a rezoning in process that should come before you at your June, one of your June meetings, which would be for an additional, it would be a total of four, 450 units at the June meeting. Okay, there's probably less than 1,000 people. The reason I ask the question, I'm always telling people that Durham is growing because people want to move here because we don't annex, but uh, <laughs> I'm about to change that. <laughs> we don't annex people that are already here. Yeah, okay, people are already here, that's right. <laughs> okay, any other comments or questions? Uh, if not, I'm going to declare the program going to be closed. The matter's back before the council. Second. It's been properly moved and second. Uh, any further questions? Hearing none, call the question. All in favor of the motion, you can be saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the motion passes unanimously. Move oh. the consistency <coughs> statement. Aye. Move the consistency statement. There's Second. two parts, right? Yeah, yeah okay. okay. Did, did, did you move that? Mm -hmm. Second. 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 It's been properly moved and second. All in favor of the motion, you can be saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the motion passes unanimously. Uh, we move back to item two, which was pulled. This is confirmation of civilian police review board. A refeed. Refeed. You, you have three minutes on the sign. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Rafiq Zaidi. I'm the assistant minister here in Durham, North Carolina, for the Nation of Islam. Uh, tonight I come to speak uh, in terms of the confirmation for the five apartments, PR 102.99. I'm not going to be uh, here long, just a few seconds, because I have served the uh, city manager and attorney, uh, city attorney, with copies of my request, which is in front of them now. If they just turn over the first page, we said request for public records from the Herald Sun, and you will see attention Thomas uh, J. Bunsfield, city, city uh, manager. Enclosed, attached here to a notarized affidavit of Rafiq Zaidi. Request letter pursuant to North Carolina General Statute, <coughs> Section 132-B, and others. And in my uh, presentation in this petition, you will find also other Freedom of Information Acts and public requests that I am making. And since the city attorney and the city manager both have a copy of what I'm referring to on a public forum, I'm asking that I receive the request be answered in a very timely manner. Uh, I, I bring your attention in my conclusion, since I only have three minutes, to my affidavit, notarized affidavit, the second to the last page in that document. Failure to provide complete and specific information as requested or a denial of same by head of agency maintaining the documents that are sought. A letter of appeal may be filed citing, if possible, court rulings 
explaining why the agency's decision to withhold the information is in a profit. If the agency denies the appeal, the individual, which is myself, may seek judicial review of the agency's actions. Are there any questions? Well, I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but it's to the manager and mm -hmm. city attorney. We have copies of it. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> uh, entertain a motion on this item. Move it. Second. It's been brought to move and second. All in favor of the motion, then can be saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the motion passes unanimously. Are there any other items to come before the council this night? We adjourn that. <laughs> if not, we adjourn at 7 20 p.m. Thank, thank, thank you all for coming. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, everybody. You're <laughs> Tom. <laughs>